My name is Allie Lehman. I own The Wonder Jam with my husband, Adam. We offer websites, we do logos, we do photography, a lot of different education pieces. So online workshops, in-person workshops, we really like to offer what our clients need. I think the biggest thing that I've seen shift is just the emphasis on authenticity and it feeling very real. Whether it's with photography, candid photography, or just making it feel like people are very relaxed and it's a, it's a comfortable environment. The same could be said of graphic design. So you've seen the surge of like handwritten text or handwritten type and making it just feel a little bit more human, which I think is a really great trend to be seeing. Along with that authenticity comes actually taking pictures on iPhones versus a, a professional camera, which I think is really empowering for students. We see a lot of the time with our clients that their audience is really excited about photography that's captured, that feels like someone's actually there, that they're actually creating an experience versus something that came from a professional photo shoot. A few years ago, we worked with a local company, two women who are starting their own simple syrup business. And one of the biggest things we focused on was market research and looking at what other simple syrups would be on the shelf next to them. And so we had binders of pictures of all the different simple syrups that would be out there. What were they talking about? How were their instructions or ingredients listed? Um, all the colors and everything like that. And what was really great was we focused a lot on the label design, obviously. We really wanted it to pop and so we convinced them to invest invest in using metallic print or metallic ink and so when you're when it's on the shelf it catches your eye especially next to some of the other simple syrups that are, are listed there and within the first few months they were in 10 different grocery stores and I think you have to really communicate and show um, that you see the potential of ROI or you know that you see the potential in, in putting in the extra um, budget to get the, the really great printing done and it was really fun to see them grow they're continuing to grow and it's it's been really great the first would be whatever filter you feel like you want to use use that one consistently instead of shifting and going from warmer to cool tones all the time I think that I see that often with amateur professional accounts which is great but when it comes to a brand I really encourage people to use the same filter so that it feels familiar. It really can make your grid or your website imagery feel a lot more consistent. Um, I also suggest that people try to seek natural light and so whenever you're using a camera or an iPhone or a smartphone, seek that out so that your imagery can feel bright and real um, and, and really authentic in that way. My last tip is always to get closer and get a lot of different angles. You're going to want to use that imagery because branding should be consistent in a lot of different ways and so something that's a little more uh, cropped in and something that's wider is going to benefit you and a client a lot more. Uh, so don't be afraid to get a lot of volume. Pairing those visual graphics or the visual branding is so important so that it stays consistent. And so no matter where someone encounters that brand, it seems recognizable, it seems familiar. Um, we often talk about how your brand is an idea that sits in someone's head and so if something that you produce for a client or a brand produces for itself gets put out you know, months down the road that it still feels like it has that connection to something that someone saw months ago. I think what's really important for students to be comfortable with is writing. We talk a lot about how writing is the basis for a lot of the things that we do. So when we design a website, we need text and we need to have intentional words behind it. Another skill set I think is uh, having just an idea of what looks good. So surrounding yourself around visuals that are interesting and start asking yourself why it's interesting. I think another skill that is underutilized or just not talked about a lot is just the art of asking questions and being really interested in um, what your peers are doing, what your professors are doing, what your clients are doing, and uh, not being afraid to ask why.